Bring. Hey, um, I'm doing a special video here. This is kind of a before, before, before video. Um, a gentleman here in Texas has um, commissioned me to build him a guitar that, that does not exist. Now, it's one that's not commercially available. So we're going to make it for him. There's a lot of custom things he would like out of it as well that we're going to make. And uh, I'm going to try to capture as much as I can of the process as I build it. And I thought it'd be best to start before I start. So uh, we've already selected some of the woods uh, and whatnot. I wanted to show you that. Of course, that's something that what you really hear, probably 90% of what you hear is right here is the top, is the soundboard. And, and we've got, you probably can't hear this well, but, but generally we all select woods by tapping on them and getting them right up next to your ear. It'll be hard to hear for you, but when it's up close, you hear the highs, the lows. Um, it's not just a, a thump, thump, thump. There's a, it's almost like a chorus of, of sounds. All these overtones come. So that's how we select them. Uh, this is Sitka Spruce. This is one, I'm in a guitar club and we do a, a, a group buy once in a while with uh, Luther's Mercantile where they send us a whole bunch of wood. We get to pick the ones we want and pay for it. And then um, uh, pay freight for the stuff back. Uh, there's probably, you know, there's, there's uh, 40, 50 of us who, who do that. So it's kind of a specialty, unique thing about the Luthiers Interactive of North Texas um, we're able to do. So I really want to thank uh, uh, LMI, Luthiers Mercantile, for, for working with us on that because I was able to pick this out. It's a lot cheaper than me uh, flying out to their warehouse and, and picking the ones I want. So this one's beautiful. Um, beautiful. I don't know how well you can see that in here. I'm going to give you a tap. Let, let's see what happens. This will be a fun experiment. See how much you can hear. So maybe if you had the earphones on, that's picking up some of it. I have, have a nice microphone. So that's the top. We use spruce generally on, a, on an XY um, graph. It's one of the lightest woods way up here. And it's one of the sh most rigid woods. So it, it's, a, it's an outlier way out here of, of really light and really strong. There's a lot of very light woods that are very weak. And there's a lot of really strong woods um, that are very heavy. So... Um, as far as top goes, uh, it needs to be rigid to hold up the 180 pounds of string tension a normal guitar has. This one's going to be a 12 string, so I forget the string tension. It's definitely over 200 pounds. So imagine a, a, a small adult or uh, hanging from this guitar on a rope swing on the bridge. That's what this top needs to be able to hold. But it also needs to be light enough that so the vibrations of the, the strings um, can move and vibrate the, the top, the soundboard, and it works like a speaker. So uh, if it's really thick and heavy and way too strong, uh, you'll just hear strings, you won't hear the top moving. And um, if it's really, really loose, it'll sound majestic, but it'll fall apart quick. So there's a, there's a fine art to that. I'll also be using, uh, for the X bracing pattern that I use on this, I'll be using uh, Sitka Spruce as well. Um, just a fantastic tried and true rock solid last for uh, lifetimes uh, of, of wood. So that'll, there's the top. And then, uh, take a break. Let's see, here's the, here's the pretty part. I was able to procure some Hawaiian koa, um, which is also on a, in the acacia family. And I'm not sure how much you can see here, but I'm gonna get some, I'm gonna get a little bit of a, you can see right there, there's just a, a gorgeous wood, but I'm going to take and put a little bit of a, we can just use naphtha on here and look, look at the figure on that. Just a stunning set. So this is going to be the, for the back and uh, the whole thing to the end is just a stunning set. So, and this stuff sounds good too. A lot of, a lot of uh, ukuleles are of course made out of it and Martin used to do their, their uh, K models for the, uh, for different ones for, for this Hawaiian music. Um, and just in general, people love it. So, uh, the, the sides are, are, uh, are stunning as, as well. I, I hope that comes across in the, in the video and they sound really good. So there's that. Um, the next, because this is a 12 string and it's going to be really, really stout, uh, string tension. I am going to be doing, a it's not a modern thing at all. I'm going to be doing a laminated neck. 
So basically is what I'll do is I'll cut out the profile of the neck and here's the headstock, if you will. And I'll stack three of these, if you will, in a row so that if you're looking at it, the fingerboard would sit on top of this and this part would go into the, the body of the guitar and the headstock would be down here and we'll put a head plate over it. And when you flip it over on the back, you'll see a seam down the middle. Um, it, you'll see it a lot on like jazz guitars and that kind of stuff. It's incredibly strong. And, and rigid um, and as far as tried and true things go uh, I don't think I have one right here at the moment uh, but Gibson was doing this um, on some of my favorite flat tops back during the war and it's, what's funny is that they would stain it uh, they would stain it uh, to look like mahogany to cover it up but they're some of the best sounding guitars and whatnot so so that's kind of a, a clue there those sides are going to get bent after I bend them, I'll use heating blankets in these special forms. I'll stick them in here, and then we'll we'll start just uh, adding in the curved lining, and then we'll get the top and back braced up, and and uh, get any kind of all the 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 rosette and all that stuff going along. So uh, I'm gonna try to do some more videos. Hopefully this is helpful, and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please hit a thumbs up down there on the bottom. That, ha that helps me out a lot. And if you think somebody else would like it, hit that arrow button and, and forward this video to somebody. And if you'd like to see all the follow-up videos, hit the subscribe button and you'll um, get notified when those new videos come out. Thanks for watching.